Ukrainian air defenses give Russia no chance. The Wagner troops are on the verge of complete destruction. The intensity in the Bakhmut region continues. Russian troops continue their operations in the region in the air and on the ground. While the Ukrainian army is defending with air defense systems, they are carrying out important operations against Russia with ground operations. It is reported that the Russian army can now use FAB-500 bombs less. The biggest reason for this is the increase in the density of the Ukrainian air defense system in the region and its control. Zelensky stated that Ukraine needed air defense systems in the past weeks and asked for support for that delivery of air defense systems to Ukraine. This analysis was confirmed and Ukraine was able to maintain control in the region with air defense systems. Ukraine is carrying out strong counterattacks against Russian positions in the western region. Such Ukrainian attacks continue to increase and harm the Russians. These attacks have considerably destabilized the Russians. Russian logistics in the Bakhmut region were adversely affected by the attacks. The Russian army is trying to recover to correct the situation. And Ukraine is quite satisfied with this situation. With the recovery process of the Russian army, the pressure on the Ukrainian army has also decreased. The conflict between Russian and Wagner troops also continues. Ukrainian troops have detected a decline in regular Russian forces in the area. It is known that the most soldiers at the front are from the Wagner group. Wagner leader Pergozin stated that the Wagner troops were very few, that they had lost too many soldiers and the Wagner group was on the verge of extinction. In recent days, he stated that Wagner troops would be destroyed if they continued to experience ammunition shortages. It is not known exactly why Russian troops withdrew from the region and only the Wagner troops remained. But the Russian soldiers, who completely failed in the region, could not accept the situation and left Wagner troops in the region by moving away from the region in order to put all the blame on the Wagner troops. Since there was no victory to be won, they left the failure to the Wagner troops. Do you think the Russian and Wagner troops will be able to fight together and succeed? Or are they now completely destroying each other? How do you interpret Ukraine's success in air defense? You can share your thoughts with us by commenting. To reach all actual news, fast and reliable worldwide, please don't forget to follow and like us.